it was a long investigation, great work by detectives, um, and uh, big evidence trail to follow. They followed it, and uh, we were able to come up with these suspects. How did what you do it? it? What was the what led you to these guys? Well, it was a combination of a lot of different things. Uh, we worked with the Attorney General's Office, ATF. Um, we um, consecutive um, interviews constantly. We had um, when we took down two of the suspects. One was already in the ACI. We took down one in Pawtucket, one in Cranston, with the help of those police departments. So we're very appreciative of all the help. And we're glad it came to this conclusion. Terrible tragedy, and we, now we have to see it through. Were they all what shooting at each other? Detroit Avenue. I know you kind of said it a couple months ago, but what do you think happened? That the two women were not the targets? <clears throat> Probably not. Innocent bystanders. Um, complete. Um, just, you know, I, I, I can't even begin to explain when you have a gun and just keep shooting it like that many times. Um, and you see the outcome. Um, just a complete tragedy. How was the victim's family taking this? Uh, you know, how could you expect them to take it? So, there's, there's nothing good about today. There's nothing good about any of this. Was this gang-related? Was this a gang-related shooting, do you think? We're looking into that. Were they shooting at each other? Were they shooting at someone else? Were they all together? They were, with they were shooting at what we believe are two individuals that were also in Detroit Avenue. That were with Crystal Pelic Peliquin, right? They, they were we don't know if they were with... With them, but in the same area, them, right, correct. And the three guys were the three guys charged today were all together shooting at them. Those the two other guys. The three guys, the three suspects today that were charged were all together. Do you know why they were shooting at the two individuals? Well, we do, but we're not really sure yet. Would those be the two individuals who were also named as the assault victims in the court? Well, I think Mr. Torres, the Torres and Torres. Correct. You said that there was another shooting. Was this a totally separate? That's what I was. I was talking about the other victim, the female. She was also shot three times. She lived, but from what I understand, is still going through surgeries and has a long road to recovery. So. What does it mean to kind of close this case when a 19-year-old killed? Well, it's just you know, cases are closed yet. We're still working it until they're found guilty and sentenced, and someone consider it closed. Um, it's, like I said, nothing good comes out of these cases. Any more arrests? Could be. We'll see. Do you have the guns? We do have the guns. These are all three very young suspects, mm -hmm. all with very seemingly previous criminal histories. I mean, what do you guys think about that, and what are you trying to do to curb this from happening again? Well, I mean, we have done a lot. We work in the neighborhoods. Uh, we've partnered up with many groups, and as you look at the stats in the city of Providence, murders, shootings, way down. Um, so, what we're doing is working. It's never going to be perfect, as you see today, um, but as close as we can get. All three guys today actually fired shots. They were all shooting that night. I'm not. We're not saying that. It's, they're all charged. Uh, you recovered all three weapons or two weapons? <clears throat> The stolen Ruger, yeah, the there was stolen. weapons recovered. I'll just leave it at that. Were the two other individuals not Peliquin and not Prayer rolled on? Were they actually hit by gunfire or just by being, virtue of being shot at? There, there's an assault charge here. Oh, sorry, sorry. Were, were, were Bert, Berta Prayer rolled on and Crystal Peliquin? Were they the only ones hit by gunfire? That were they the only ones actually Correct. shot? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And can okay. you just confirm the names for us on the suspects? Jimmy Castillo. Yeah, I'll confirm Jim. them. Both. Oh, okay. I don't know. Okay.